Contact has several tools for locating and loading objects on your hard disk. Among them is a quick load catalog. But once you've built up your catalog, managing it from the quick load browser can become time consuming. In today's video tutorial, I'll give you some helpful tips on managing your quick load catalog. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. The quick load catalog is similar to the file browser because it provides access to a hierarchical directory structure. The difference is that you can freely define the quick loads catalog structure without having to worry about the actual file paths, the library relationships, or the formats. Basically, you can define a virtual file system that exists in parallel to the actual file system on your hard disk and use it to freely organize and index your files without actually copying or moving them to different locations. And the way you do this is by using a quick load browser. And this is what appears in the rack when you right click anywhere inside the empty space below the instrument headers. So anywhere in this black space, basically. And of course, you can resize this pane by by clicking and dragging the bar that separates it from the rack. And if you right click inside the empty region of the rack, um, you can hide the quick load browser again, or you can click this X button. The quick load list is nothing but a collection of shortcuts or links to the actual instrument and multi files. A lot of people don't know this. They think that this is some complex database that um, um, native instruments have created, but in actuality, these are actually folders and the items that you put in the folders are actually shortcuts to um, the actual instruments banks or multis on your hard drive so what what that allows us to do is allows us to manage quick load from the ui so from the quick load browser or we can actually use Finder or Windows Explorer Finder in the case of a Mac to actually create and manage these folders and shortcuts. If you're on Windows, you can find your quick load directory um, in your local settings. So this will be documents and settings, your username, local settings, application data, native instruments, contact five, quick load. And if you're on a Mac, you can find this um, in your user library application support folder. So user library application support native instruments contact five quick load. All right, so I'm just going to make one here just so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to call this ZZZ. All right, going to open up Finder here. And if you don't see um, library in your user folder, it's because it's a hidden hidden um, directory. Um, there's a couple of utilities that you can download that allows the folder to be displayed. But the quick way to, to get there is just hit Command Shift G, which is go to folder, and just type in library, and it'll take you to the library. So we want to go to application support, native instruments. Oops. Contact five quick load. So as you can see, this is my quick load directory. And I am in instruments here, so let's just go in instruments. And you can see the folder that I just made. Okay, so let's uh let's add a um an instrument to ZZZ, okay? So do, 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 do. let me find okay, so this is what it looks like. So the one thing that I notice um, these are these are standard um, shortcuts uh, um, if you just look at uh, 
Okay, so there's nothing special about this. This is just an alias. Okay, so I am going to just make a copy. I'm going to open up the new finder window. I'm going to go to to let's find some uh, contact instruments. All right, let's put a uh, let's see rhythmic robot audio. I like this one. Snaps and claps. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, make an alias okay and I'm going to move it here okay now the other thing is you won't you won't see your changes because this loads when contact loads so you actually have to restart contact to do this so that's the only downside to doing it this way is that you have to restart contact normally if I just if I um, took this same instrument and dragged it dragged it into the quick load um, browser it will just add it instantly but you know we're trying to be a little bit more more uh, adventurous so I'm gonna close contact All right, I'm gonna open it back up and if any if anybody is wondering what this is I just did I use an application called Quicksilver and it allows you to use key commands to load applications and do various things I highly recommend it um, it allows me to work extremely fast all right quicksilver okay so contact is loading again and we go to our quick load zz and we have snaps and claps okay so that's how you um, manually add uh, instruments to quick load outside of contact all right so let me close contact again all right, so let's go back here. So you can make aliases. So this a lot. You can do this for instruments, banks, and multis, and you can make folders. So I'm gonna rename this to this RR for rhythmic robot. All right, I'm gonna start contact again. All right, and it loads fairly quickly. There you go. Okay, so that's how you um, you add folders and add instruments, multis, or banks. Okay, so one um, one other thing that you can do is because this is a directory structure, you can actually back up this entire directory so that if you ever move to a different computer or you have to reinstall Contact. Um, you can actually restore your quick load catalog. Um, just make sure that your instruments that that these aliases are pointing to uh, actually are in the right location or else these won't load. Okay. And also one other thing I wanted to mention was um, I've had reports of users who um, are having trouble with quick load when they have a large number of um, folders and aliases in here um, I will say this because these are aliases this is this is this is where the negative comes about when we talk about the quick load because um, let me pull this so you can see it because these are aliases they actually take up space okay so um, don't think that there is not a, a cost to use quick load there is um, my system this is uh this folder that you're looking at is a SSD, okay? And it I don't I don't notice any lag when contact loads. It lo you you just seen that it loads fairly quickly. Um and my library is I have a lot of um instruments in there. But there has been users who have seen um quick load take a long time and where they notice that is when they when they right click to open quick load um, there is a uh, it doesn't show it now, but there is actually a wheel that will spin while it's loading. Um, I've only seen that once. I've I've not seen it on my system, uh, you know, at all other than one time. But uh, it apparently can happen. And and when it's doing that, contact is reading the directory to, to read all of these to to display this. So let's see how many I have. 
in here. So I'm gonna look at quick load. I'm gonna go get info. Let me pull this into view. Okay, so one thing is because it's an alias, they take up space. So I have my quick load catalog is taking up almost seven gigs. And so I mean that is a lot for what this is. I mean, this is basically a folder and, and shortcuts. It's, you know, it's, it's, that's a, that's a lot. That's a big footprint for, um, just to have shortcuts, but, um, I have a one terabyte hard drive. So, uh, SSD. So, and I keep all my samples on an external, uh, four terabyte hard drive. So I'm not hurting for space, but if you're on a system and you don't have a lot of space on your, on your main hard drive where contact runs, uh, you might want to think twice about using quick load. So that's seven gigs. So how many uh, things do we get with seven gigs? So I have um, about 15,000 folders, shortcuts to instruments, banks, and multis. So just to get you, you know, just for comparison, if you have a, um, if you have quick load and you're not even close to this, let's say you're half and you're getting issues, um, it might be something else that's wrong with your system because I have seven gigs of uh, my, my quick load catalog is seven gigs almost and it has um, 15,000 items in it. So and it's able to load lickety split, you know, snap your fingers. So, you know, if, if you know, I, I would say that if you're approaching any slowdowns, you're getting any any any. Um, delays in loading um, I would have to say that it would have to be after you exceed this number um, you shouldn't you shouldn't be getting it when it's below this number okay so in conclusion organizing and contact is not the easiest task the database is a good place to start but it keeps changing as native instruments keeps adding and removing features the library is just downright downright horrible I mean it looks pretty though in my opinion, the quick load catalog is the best method for organizing your files just because it's a hierarchical view and you can control the structure. But if you need to do searching um, and you need to filter with the tagging, then of course the database is your first choice. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.